Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And today, we're taking our Pokemon across the pond. And across some countries. And across some countries mm -hmm. to see what their names is like over, over there in a different spot. Huh? Yeah, we got this suggestion from our drop. Or should Patreon. I say, yeah? <laughs> Nine. How dare you? <laughs> I was halfway through a sentence. <laughs> you were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say the sentence again, and this time I better receive no interruptions. <laughs> This suggestion came from the Droppy Patreon Discord, which you can also contribute to if you sign up for the Droppy Patreon. Woo. It came from Partly Smith, and they said Pokemon based on their names in other languages, and it was followed up by our very own mod, Jamie, who said, might I recommend German, which has hilarious translations. So that's what we're doing. We're doing Pokemon German names, and we're gonna draw what we think the Pokemon <laughs> looks like based on the name. Nathan is up first. Yeah. And Julia is going to give Nathan a Pokemon name to draw. Yeah. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> yeah. Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for your name? Yeah. The name I'm giving you is Ergle. <laughs> St Steve Ergle? Steve Hello? Ergle. <laughs> Steve Ergle. Can I get a spelling? U R G L. Urgle. I'm not GL. I'm Nathan. You're GL. Now. Wow, you're full of them today. <laughs> I'm really good. I'm really good at jokes today. Um, I've got nothing to go on. Urgle. Urgle. It's Urgle. It's Urgle. Urgle. You know, you know Urgle. I don't know anything about languages. I barely speak English, as we know from <laughs> doing the show. But Urgle sort of sounds like gurgle. Yes, I like that. Yeah. So I'm yeah. thinking maybe it's like a frog. He is suffering a little bit from the Urgle Gurgle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of the Urgle Gurgle. Millions of people every year suffer from the Urgle Gurgle. Yes, he suffers from an extreme condition called Urgle Gurgle. <laughs> it's getting harder to say the more you it say is. it. It is. <laughs> I am also someone who can barely speak English as it is. It's like a gurgly frog. I'm going to try and draw my like my best approximation of Froki. Okay. This is gonna be like a, a, a bad Froki. I like its little sad snout. <laughs> it's cause he's suffering from the Urgle gurgles. He's yeah. sick. He's, he's sick. He's sick. Yeah, this frog, he's sick. Ew. <laughs> I don't think we should battle with this one today. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's on its last legs. We could just let it let it have a peaceful few moments. Yeah. <laughs> no. This one is not well. We shouldn't have brought Urgle out. <laughs> what does Froki do? It's got like bubbles, right? It's like yes. a bubbly. Yeah. This is a frog in a bathtub. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Having a nice sudsy time. Yeah. Can it be Damn. in a bathtub? Wish that were me. <laughs> can it be in a bathtub? Anyone yeah. can be in a bathtub. Well, I'm saying like, <laughs> Can that be part of its whole thing is that it's a frog in a bathtub? Yeah. They get new designs in addition to the translation, right? I mean, they do on this show. Everything gets a new design <laughs> on this show. Yeah, no one is safe. So yeah, maybe he's not sick. Maybe he just got some bubbles in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, he did that fun thing where he tried to eat it. <laughs> I like that better. But now he's got, he's making that yeah, face like, mm. You know when you like find yourself in a new setting and so you like <laughs> take a bite <laughs> to try and understand it? Yeah. Yes. This, this looks like the face he makes when you walk into the bathroom and you catch him eating bubbles. <laughs> and you're like, Urgle, no. Don't tell anyone mm. how I live. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it feels going down. I like to feel the bubbles <laughs> pop in my mouth. <laughs> Urgle, you nasty. It's got his little leg up. Uh, <laughs> or maybe this is his face when he come, you throw him out to battle. <laughs> I was in the <laughs> middle of something. He was in the middle of, <laughs> yeah. of a relaxing bath. <laughs> <laughs> got his little like scrubbing brush. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's going to throw bubbles with it. Yeah, he's yeah. fancy. Urgle used scrub. It's not very effective. 
<laughs> that it's effective on exfoliating that dry skin. Yeah, this is an exfoliating type Pokemon. <laughs> it's new. Yeah. It's new. Well, I want us to have in future Pokemon games ones that aren't for battles. Yeah. They're for yeah. other things. I mean, a lot of the ones now feel like they shouldn't be for battles. We just don't have anything else to do with them, unfortunately. We haven't figured that part out yet. No. Like that sleeping pig. Like you don't, that one doesn't want to fight. <laughs> no, it it's wants to sleep. It's in no position. There's a sleeping pig? Yeah. Yeah. Is it called sleep pig? <laughs> no, but it, that would it's be a good It's called mana. 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 Oh, oh you're you talking about the fetus. Get yeah. a few yeah. of those. You got manemanas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, not, are you not a fan of that one? That's Urgle's battle cry. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Stupid. <laughs> it's good. He can hang out with my SCP. Oh, yeah, yeah, the crocodile. I like the implication that the tub is part of the design and therefore is part of the body. Yes, yeah, it is. Yes. The Pokedex for this one reads something like, Urgul cannot leave the tub or he will die. Yeah, it's like a turtle shell. It's yeah. uh, oh. bone. But attached to his butt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, that is his pelvis. All right, let's give it and some turtle shell. And those are his feet. <laughs> oh, this is good. No one's done this. <laughs> give me the bath Pokemon we all deserve. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's got one of these sort of like... Oh. Oh. oh, it's a joint Pokemon. It's like a double Pokemon. This is Urgle, Urgle and Tub, <laughs> Tube, Tube. Sorry to any German fans. Yeah, for yeah. any pronunciations we do in this, I don't know how it's supposed to sound. That should go without saying. We always apologize, and on this episode, particularly, it's no different. Yeah. <laughs> I love this though. I, I think they should do more Pokemon fusions. Yeah. <laughs> where you make a new one if you combine two of the existing ones. This is Urgle and Tub. Tube. Tube. And it's like one of those special evolutions that's really hard to figure out. You have to like have both in your party and then get Urgle really dirty. Yeah. <laughs> so that he wants a bath. <laughs> <laughs> It's a secret mechanic. Yeah, you have to have someone use muddy water on Urgle. Oh, that's fun. Oh. And then they'll evolve into this if you have Tub in your party. Yeah. I remember getting so mad at a kid in elementary school who was telling me <laughs> that like the way you evolve Slowpoke into Slowbro was by having Shelter bite its tail. And I kept being like, how? How in the game do you get Shelter to bite his tail? He's like, you just get Shelter to bite his tail. I'm like, that's not a thing you can do. <laughs> You're lying. What are you talking about? <laughs> the angriest Nathan's ever. Yeah, been. I just remember like <laughs> shouting at this kid and the kid being like, I'm sorry I brought this up. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have tried talking to you. You're like, no, it's too late now. I thought maybe, you know, you seem to like Pokemon. I'd give you this like fun Pokemon tidbit. Maybe we'd we'd bond over it, but you're the energy you're bringing to this conversation is not what I signed up for <laughs> at all. And I was just like, "What do you t what do you mean? Bite its tail. That's not a thing you can do in the game." You sound so Idiot. stupid right now. <laughs> Everyone thinks you sound so stupid. <laughs> um, I'm done. <laughs> This is Urgul. What is Urgul actually? Urgul actually is a Pokemon that I'm going to attempt to pronounce and will probably butcher. <laughs> Cramorant? Cramorant. Cramorant? Cramorant. It's the bird that swallows Pikachu. Yes. <laughs> what? It's the bird that swallows Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> what sounds... more is there to say? <laughs> it sounds like a prophecy you would see like carved <laughs> in a stone somewhere. <laughs> Beware the bird the mouse. <laughs> that swallows Pikachu. Oh, it's the gulpy friend. <laughs> so Nathan, you didn't draw that, but you did make. This I think new you're pretty one. close. I did yeah. put a frog in the tub, so which is yeah. kind of like putting Pikachu in a bird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Pikachu as to bird as frog is to tub. 
Yeah. The classic analogy. Yeah. We all know Study it. Study for your SATs <laughs> <laughs> with these classic analogies. <laughs> all right, Karina's up next. Yes. All right. Which means, Nathan, you got to give. Karina, I've got one for you. Give me, give me, give me. You're, and again, no idea how it's actually pronounced, but I'm just going to say it how it's written. Pot rot. <laughs> Hot Pot rot. rot. Hot rot. That sounds like a, <laughs> like a, like a PSA from the 90s. <laughs> This is you. This is you suffering from pot rot. Pot rot. <laughs> uh, I, I'll note both pot and rot have two T's. So it might be pot trot. Pot trot. <laughs> <laughs> I like pot rot. Yeah, I just keep thinking about pot rot. Oh, Stacy, she was cool. But then she started <laughs> suffering from pot rot. Oh, so lame. This could be your team. <laughs> you talk to your kids about pot rot. I'm not going to go the obvious route with pot rot, though. But please continue making pot rot jokes. <laughs> I've got one. Do you want to hear yeah, mine? Go, do yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it also kind of sounds like something someone in World War II would suffer from. Oh, sure. <laughs> like trench foot <laughs> and pot rot. I guess that's World War I. Yeah. World War I was a lot of trench foot. Well, World War II had it, too. Which one had pot rot, though? Uh, I, you know, I think the argument could be said for both of them. Pot rot always exists. <laughs> it was like, it was fatal during World War One. World War Two, they had some treatments for it, but it still yeah. was a pleasant uh, experience. We still have pot rot. It just, it's easier to treat now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I met my wife when she was treating me for pot rot <laughs> back at Normandy. <laughs> it's me, the guy at Normandy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the one with pot rot. <laughs> Back in my day, they used to treat pot rot by having you pee on a bit of uh, cloth and then covering <laughs> the pot rot affected area. And that's how nowadays you get oh, like, like a sea a urchin pill. bite. Yeah, yeah. Why did I call it a bite? <laughs> anyway sea urchin's teeth are on the outside yeah yeah famously those are its teeth anyway what i have in mind for this is like the teapot pokemon oh yeah. it's oh, that's like fun. a poison oh uh, it, it's in a pot <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you have poison. to check the bottom to make sure it's like authentic yeah or whatever Hell that yeah. stupid mechanic was <laughs> that's good I, I thought that was funny in the game i liked that <laughs> oh does that have a little like little skull, skull face oh, yeah yes. skull. so you're gonna have two crossed bones like, like a little poison <laughs> symbol <laughs> yeah that's where the ass goes <laughs> <laughs> according to julia yeah <laughs> yeah x marks the spot <laughs> it could be a little bow tie Crisscrossed under his little chin. Oh, yeah. Right. That's snazzy. That's fashion. Right, that's fashion. Uh, stink, stink lines. Bubbles. Stinky bubbles. Yeah, stink more salting. bubbles. Yeah, it's the bubble episode. Only, uh, only bubbles. <laughs> but these are stinky bubbles. Yeah, yeah we don't they, like they smell bad. Don't get too close. This is like the nasty evolution of the teacup Pokemon. I like that we've drawn two Pokemon chilling in bubble liquid. Yeah. yeah. That's good. It's it's like spa vibes on this episode. I want to go to a spa. <laughs> I've never been in my whole life. We got to go to a spa. Yeah, I want to. Is this is how many times have we talked about going to a spa? A lot. It's it's cuz I want it so bad. Every time we talk about it, I want to do it again, even more. I remember we used to get emails about like massage. We could get massage on the ninth floor. At our old building, oh my God. and every so often, someone would reply all to schedule their massage, <laughs> so we would all know that someone actually did it Whoa. was going to get a massage. Yeah, I don't want to get a massage in my workplace. Yeah, I can't imagine yeah. like going to a meeting and then being like, "Massage me," and then <laughs> going back to my desk and like drawing some shit. No, I want it yeah. to be its own thing. Make it a day trip. Yeah. Remember day trips? Oh my God, let's go on a day trip once it's safe. We're gone. To the spa. Look at this cute little bunny. 
You haven't decided what this is. <laughs> it's like a little evil bunny. Should it be a bunny? I don't know. It's got like a, a mammal's face. It does have a mammal's I face. I was thinking I was thinking bunny, but it could be, you know, you could you can make it a, a cat or a dog. Oh, I kinda like the bunny ears. Bunny is good though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got I got pot rod bunny in my cup. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat this stew anymore. I left it out this too is what long. What happens when you leave your stuff in the pot for too long? Yeah, you come back to your pot that's been simmering, and and this guy's in it, just flipping you <laughs> off. Like, oh, come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> this one goes out to my shitty roommates in my uh, junior year of college, who would use my pots to make craft mac and cheese and then just leave it out for days. Wow. This one's for you. Call I thought, out. I thought I you were that. calling out your current roommates. I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> power move. No, I love Shout my Shout out to roommates. my shitty current roommates. <laughs> they have done nothing wrong and I love living with them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, call out post. <laughs> Eat it, <laughs> you delightful people. <laughs> Karina, this is such a good design. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I would like believe this was a real Pokemon. I feel like it needs- Believe it. Limbs? We can just say that it floats. Maybe it's Poison Ghost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Poison Ghost. It's the, it's the ghost of a meal that you left out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I feel like rabbits are often used for stew. Yeah. So it, it tracks. Yeah. If you like leave something on the stove- and just like forget about it, which, okay, first of all, <laughs> uh, figure that out, get it together. But <laughs> this Pokemon will seek you out and then take over that pot, pot rot. <laughs> and then you've got a whole separate issue you have to deal with. This yeah. Is, this is just a Yule Lad. <laughs> <laughs> New Yule Lad just dropped. <laughs> it's pot rot. On the other end of this, is this is a POV? You are Alakazam holding the spoon. Look at it, like, God damn it. <laughs> Alakazam about to sit down for a nice meal. <laughs> Here, it's pot rot. That's pot rot. That's really good. This rules. I love it. Thank you. Who's the real pot rot? Who is it? It's Shuckle. 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 It's Shuckle. <laughs> Shuckle's pot rot? Yeah. Pot rot? <laughs> Not to be confused with the, the Pokemon Pat Rat, which is also, <laughs> that's an a English. Well, this is like a good version of Shuckle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this rules. <laughs> what if Shuckle, Shuckle was cute? <laughs> yeah, what if we made Shuckle good <laughs> and we'd have pot rot? <laughs> Make Shuckle good 2021. <laughs> Our second good version of Shuckle after Julia's baseball boy. My, my baseball clam. Yes. <laughs> okay, my turn. Jacob, you want one? Please. You want a German Pokemon? I want one so bad. Okay, yours is Flunkifer. <laughs> yeah. Flunkifer. Okay. Flunkifer. Let's Flunkifer let's consider. Um, <laughs> Flunkifer Jones. I mean, right off the bat, the word flunk, yep, usually means you've you failed a test, yeah, of some kind. So maybe this one is the the dunce Pokemon. He always misses. He got a case <laughs> of the pot rot. Started flunking. Started flunking all his classes. That'll happen. Stay in school, kids, or I guess stay in virtual school, or don't. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> We're not your dad. Listen to yeah. your heart. Do what you want. Yeah. Or don't. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of working with a shape here. I like this shape. I think I'm accidentally making the sad ghost from Undertale. Oh, you the are. It's like this. Yep. <laughs> it could also be like a mole looking up. It could oh, be, true. but it, this one's not looking up. Because <laughs> it, it's done poorly. <laughs> it's done poorly. It, 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 didn't, it didn't look up any of its sources, and that's why it's <laughs> all of its classes. Yeah, I do think I want it to be like a ghost, though, maybe. That's why you can't leave yet. He hasn't passed that test. Yeah. <laughs> it's what's keeping him on Earth. It just passed away. <laughs> yeah. I have unfinished business. I've flunked my <laughs> history exam. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. No one cares. 
No, I do. If I if I don't pass this test, I won't get into a good college. You're dead. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, like eventually, if you're a ghost and and you stay in the same history class long enough, you'll just know the stuff because the stuff that happened when you were alive will be the history. Oh. Ugh. Really <laughs> Karina hated that. Yeah, that one wasn't for Karina, unfortunately, but. Just thinking That's about okay. the damnation of having to like live long enough to see the the time that we're living through being taught in history classes. Oh, I like that shape. Ooh. It's it's got a nose. I've yes. decided. Yes. This is an Ojama. Ojama. Oh my god. You're gonna be able to date this episode because you'll know we just did the stream where we talked about Ojama. <laughs> We did an episode with Ojamas. We yeah, did. they're a part of the Drawfee canon. Everyone loves Ojamas here on Drawfee. Yeah, big fans, all of us. This does it does have like the same look as Julia's Ojama Black. Yeah. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember oh, what that looks like. I like yes. the hair. Ooh, yes. Hair, nose. I'm now just thinking of the, the two creatures that stay in high school forever are this ghost and apparently, according to the CW, uh, vampires. Yeah. So it's this flunking ghost and vampires trapped forever <gasps> in high school. That's really uh, I good. love this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this mouth. Is the desk part of it? Yeah, the as desk well. is part of it. Okay, yes. so we've got all objects as part of the design with these, which I like. <laughs> I also like it. Maybe it just like. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you're too tall in high school and your knees hit the top of the desk. <laughs> oh, such a mood. Horrible. Horrible. Delivering me a pizza. And then it's got like, <laughs> this is not a Pokemon. I'll tell you that much. This is a pizza yeah. delivery boy. Yeah. I, this this th is like Yokai like watch. Yeah. Bringing, bringing us a pizza. I have your order here. The mouth looks like that other Pokemon we drew in a beans one time, Diddle Seed. Oh, yeah, Diddle Seed. You can't say Diddle Seed on this show. <laughs> we already did months we already ago. Did. It's too late. <laughs> Uh, Love Diddle C. Like some books. Is this the BTS logo? Well, I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what it looks like either, actually. It just gives me that energy. Then yes. <laughs> Put BTS in the thumbnail. We did it. <laughs> All right. See if I remember to do that. No, you, you won't and you shouldn't. Wait, I'm kind of right. It's a really short BTS logo. Big BTS fan, this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we do, we do the little... The little wispies. Oh yeah, the little poke, the little ghost wispies, so that you know it's a ghost. I know. <laughs> I had a hunch. I know because I I always check the type, <laughs> so I know what moves are super effective. Because uh, you're kind of a gamer. I'm a kind of a gamer. Wow. Not to brag on Nathan, but Nathan games. No, you can you can yeah, brag on me. I mean, I don't want to embarrass you, but I'll, I'll allow it. But you game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It like doesn't look like a Pokemon, but at the same time, it looks like there's always like one or two in each new release that don't look like Pokemon that you just see and you're like, huh. Like, what is this? Not this. Oh, he's drippy. It's kind of oh, like drips I, and I also legs. legs. It's both. Yeah, just like a. Big old, um, you know, protrusion. It's yeah. So now it can stand. Yeah. Or it can float. This is yeah. a Pokemon. And then no one can tell me otherwise. I think it's a Pokemon. We got there. It's not yeah. A it's Everyone. definitely closer to Yu-Gi-Oh. It's definitely an Ojama. <laughs> this is Ojama table. Every time you try to make this thing fight, it's just like no, no, hold on. I, sh sh I'm, not, I'm just, I gotta get through this one page. I just can't get this equation down. I've been working on it for a thousand years. <laughs> uh, this is it. I want to know what the actual one is. Mawile. <laughs> oh, oh Ma that's the one with the head thing, right? Fake mouth. Yeah. Yeah. You did kind of get the teeth. You do. You did kind of nail it in that it has like the weird backwardness of it all. <laughs> 
Yeah, Mawile also doesn't really look like a Pokemon. So. Yeah. No, Mawile's weird, and also I hate it because its typing always trips me up based on yeah. what it's like. Not fans of Mawile here. No. <laughs> fuck Shuckle, fuck Mawile. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Replace it with Flunkifer. Makes about as much sense. <laughs> Flunkifer. <laughs> Amazing. Julia. Yes. For you. Yes. Uh, you, you have a tendency to draw Pokemon as adult men. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and so I picked one that kind of sounded like an adult man. Is it Urgle? To see what you would do with it. It's not Urgle. It's Urgle again. <laughs> it's not Urgle. I picked for you Kleinstein. <laughs> <laughs> Kleinstein and two smoking barrels. All right. Klein's, Albert Kleinstein is here. <laughs> Albert Kleinstein. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not a nuclear physicist. You wanted uh, Einstein. People make that mistake a lot. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm but, Pokemon. Uh, I'm a I'm a Pokemon. <laughs> I'm actually a Pokemon. So. Uh, <laughs> I know four moves. He taught himself how to talk like Meowth, but instead of being motivated by love, he was just, he just wanted to correct people who thought he was a person. <laughs> and a it didn't physicist. help. <laughs> he just liked getting invited to symposiums and stuff. Is that a kitty mouth? I think it's a mustache. Oh. Or is it like <laughs> a chimpanzee? Okay. Oh, it is a mustache. No, it's Julia's drawing a man. This is Nathan. This is Nathan. <laughs> it's drawing me. <laughs> Nathan Kleinstein. <laughs> Nathan Kleinstein logging on. That's German. Normal man. <laughs> German me is Kleinstein. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the reasons I that I was drawn to Kleinstein was because of just the sort of disparity between the name Kleinstein and what Pokemon it actually is. So I'm excited <laughs> to reveal that later. I wonder if we should have given each other what, what types... It was. Well, we can do that in the sequel, Nate. We can do that in the sequel, yeah. And, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Maybe maybe mix up the languages. I mean, yeah. German. Yeah. When so everyone far, complains that we didn't do Shiggy, we can do another one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we already know what Shiggy is. It's at the top of the list. He's one of the main characters of Scooby Dip. Duh. <laughs> 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 yeah, we already drew Shiggy on that episode. Yeah. If you didn't watch Scooby Dip, then did you even have a childhood? <laughs> it's just a wide, it's just a man. Strong, strong Nathan. Kind, it's Kleinstein. Very kind face. Yeah. On Kleinstein. Kleind place. <laughs> I would trust this guy. Like, if I needed yeah. help, like sometimes Julia draws Pokemon as like wretched men, but this is a this is a friend. This is the most friend shaped <laughs> man that Julia is drawn. Still just a man, but yeah, delightful. This one, it's just just man type. <laughs> Pokemon, you cowards! Introduce man type. <laughs> yeah, in the new whatever the. The new region that's based on Germany is we get man type, exfoliating type, and dunce. Dunce type. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid type. <laughs> These ones are just dumb. Sorry. But they're still delightful. But they're strong. A lot of dual type man and stupid. Uh... <laughs> Not Kleinstein. Though. Not Kleinstein. Yeah. Kleinstein is, is pure man. <laughs> Yeah. Though he can learn some exfoliating moves. Yeah, that's true. Got to keep that skin radiant. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my skin were half as radiant as Kleinstein. <laughs> Julia, this looks like a gajinka of <laughs> your drawing of Verizian. I don't know what that is. <laughs> You, you drew it. What does that mean? What does that combination of words mean? Well, Julia, on a different Pokemon episode, drew the Pokemon Verizian. And this one, this drawing she's doing looks like if she did a Gajinka of that drawing. 
Maybe she's subconsciously doing that. We never know. Oh man, his his shorts are real short. Good for him. <laughs> they wouldn't be so short if he didn't have them so high. <laughs> he likes it. He likes it. <laughs> he likes it like that. That was yeah. a choice. Yeah. Well, it shows off those thighs. Yeah. yeah, it really does. I'm just like waiting to see if any element of this is not just going to be <laughs> a man. A man. <laughs> hmm. This is this is a character design challenge for Julia, and she's she's drawn Kleinstein. Like if you showed me this guy and said this this man's name is Kleinstein, I'd be like, sure, <laughs> yeah, that's so, him. So okay, okay, yes, I've yes. learned I've learned something <laughs> oh. in this Pokemon oh. episode. Where'd they go? And it's that uh, there can be props in Pokemon design. It is part of the body. Oh, he's a man in a barrel. <laughs> he's 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 gonna be in a Stein. In a Stein. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's he just comes out of a Stein. Hello, Hello my name is Klein, <laughs> and I am in a Stein. This is what that anime Steins Gate is about. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This the is gate. It. This is the gate out <laughs> the of gate which they comes told us about <laughs> Klein. <laughs> This is one of those combination Pokemon. You, you take Klein and you put him in a Stein. We can have and then Nathan bubbles. in elementary school is like, what do you mean put him in a Stein? How, how do you do, how do, that, you do that, that game? That's not part of the game. <laughs> That's not a command within the game. You sound so stupid. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> we'll never be friends. I feel like a beer company is going to buy this from us and yeah, like, this use is it as their a, logo. This is just a cool like indie beer company logo. If you want this for your beer company, uh, get at us and I'm sure we can work something out. Kleinstein's Brewing Company. I personally volunteer, Julia, to redraw this yeah. for your <laughs> beer logo. Seconded. You could just honestly like screen cap this, print it out, and uh, just tape it to yeah. whatever beer you're drinking. And then send us some money. And then, <laughs> us, and then mail us a, an envelope with 30 cents. You decide what's fair. Put it in the envelope and send yeah. it. Yeah, it's pay what you want. Yeah, gu yeah. gum road rules. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of get like a gut reaction of what you feel like it was worth to you and send yeah. us that. How, however much it improved your beer drinking experience to be looking at this <laughs> sort of, I mean, I guess depending on how sweaty the bottle or can you taped it onto this sort of wet paper <laughs> with this drawing on it. If you put it on a stein, though, you get bonus uh, enjoyment. Yeah. It's, a bo it's an enjoyment multiplier. It's super effective. Yeah. Kleinstein. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a great drawing. Just a bunch of friends in liquid on yeah. this episode. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of friends bathing in, in various things. Yeah. That's Pokemon. That's Pokemon. We, we all know <laughs> what Pokemon is. And it's this. This right here. I'm glad, Julia, that you did draw the shorts. Yeah. So you, you did know this. that he's wearing them in there. We didn't see his... Did we see his feet? I yes, started two little I, slippers. <laughs> yeah, I had started to, and then I deleted it. He doesn't yeah. officially have feet. It, it is uh, Doug uh, Diglett. Doug Trio rules down there. But yeah. Everything knows? else we know. Yeah. I do want it on record that he is he is strong, thick thighs, though. Yes. Yeah. yeah that's in the Pokedex. Important. Yeah. That's all it says in the Pokedex. <laughs> do, I do want it on record. <laughs> it must be known. Do you want to know who Kleinstein really is? Kleinstein's true identity? No. Um, this is Kleinstein's true yeah. identity. This will always be Kleinstein. Do you want to know Kleinstein's original false identity? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I guess. Kleinstein is Geo Dude. <laughs> he kind of <laughs> looks like Geo Dude. That's. <laughs> he's the Rock with arms. I did it. The angry Rock that punches. Oh wait, no. He's like happy to be mad, right? <laughs> he kind of has a. <laughs> That's him. A snout face thing that's a little unique. Yeah. Oh, well, he's kind of a dude. He looks like a rock. I like my Kleinstein. I mean, they're both Pokemon that I'd I'd get a beer with. Yes. With Kleinstein, you'd get a beer with him in it. Yeah. Well, this has been it.
This has been it. This has been it. <laughs> if there are other languages you want us to draw Pokemon from, let us know. If you want us to pick your suggestion, leave it in the comments or head on over to the Patreon Discord where we sometimes get our suggestions. Thank you to everyone who's already in there giving us, giving us that support. We love and appreciate you. We're sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs>